Good day, this is Dr. Joseph Pisano from MuseTech.net. Today, I'm creating a video overview of an incredible plugin entitled BuddyStream. BuddyStream is created for the WordPress and BuddyPress platforms. I'm very excited to be a part of the development of this plugin. This plugin is created by a very talented programmer named Peter Hoffman. BuddyStream may be found at BuddyStream.net. I'd like to start with a quick overview of what BuddyStream is. BuddyStream is a plugin that allows you to socialize your websites. It allows you to synchronize various updates and information from other social media networking platforms into a BuddyPress platform. In addition to that, it allows you to send information from BuddyPress out to the various social networks as well. BuddyStream integrates with a number of very popular social networking sites, including Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Buzz, Flickr, Last.fm, YouTube, SoundCloud, and RSS feed integrations. The premium version allows you to integrate with SoundCloud, RSS, Google Buzz, LinkedIn, and Facebook. The light version works with Twitter, Flickr, Last.fm, and YouTube. You can find out more about signing up for either version by visiting BuddyStream.net. Here's an example of what it looks like on a typical BuddyPress theme and you can see here right where I just clicked where it says what's new Joseph. This would be where you would typically put in an update. I'm going to just type in here this is an update. On regular Buddy press site you would click post update and that information would go out to the activity stream or if you were in a group it would go there or you could even do this in a forum by creating a topic. BuddyStream allows you to also send that information to other social networks. Here if I wanted to send this to Twitter, LinkedIn or Facebook I would simply click each one of these buttons. One of the cool things about this is Twitter has a 140 character limit LinkedIn has a limit as well. As you type, you will see these limits change so you know when you might be over a particular character limit. If I were to click post update right now, that would go to the BuddyPress platform as well as to the other social networks that I've liked that I would have liked to have sent. You can see over here, this is a typical post. And underneath each post, I have the ability to share that post with Google, Twitter, or Facebook, as well as other social networks as well. Each post or activity update, uh, BuddyStream allows you to send that information out to the various social networks. In addition to that, it will also import, each user has the ability to connect their accounts to other social networks, and the information that's updated on those sites will be pulled into the BuddyPress site as well. Here's an example of a Flickr stream and uh, from the drop down menu on the activity page you can choose to filter by various options. The BuddyStream plugin allows you to filter from any of the social networking modules that are activated. Here they're all activated, Google Buzz, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. What you're looking at is a filter of Flickrs. Here you can see that this particular post uh, by the administrator, which is Peter Hoffman, was pulled into BuddyStream here, and you can see a photo. I'm going to click on that photo, and you will see it expand out to that. I'm going to go back. Another very cool feature of the BuddyStream um, plugin is that it creates albums. I'm going to click over here, and we're going to pull up another album and this happens to be a YouTube album and in this album here again this is the admin album you can see that any of the YouTube albums or uh, videos that were shown are compiled into this particular album underneath each individual user there's also Facebook albums for any of the photos that were shared by Facebook SoundCloud audio track albums and Flickr albums let's take a look at a Flickr album going to click here and what you'll see is that for whichever user you pulled up the various Flickr items that have been imported from Flickr for this user are available 
Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. There's a very cool light box effect with the photo album you can see here where there is an expanded image that pops up when you click on that. Here's an example of a SoundCloud activity stream item. You can see here, again, we're looking at the admin on the buddystream.net site. You can actually play posts shared or favorited by SoundCloud simply by clicking this button. And we can also send this out to Buzz or Google Plus or Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn as well. Let's just take a quick look at the administration background of the BuddyStream plugin. This is a typical background item from BuddyStream, the BuddyStream plugin. And this is the dashboard where you'll be able to see the latest news and activate various, or uh, I should say not activate, but go to various tabs that control different functions of the BuddyStream plugin. BuddyStream makes it very simple for the administrator to turn on or turn off integrations with a simple switch. By clicking the Power Central tab, you'll be presented with various social networks and whether or not you would like to include them. Including them is as simple as clicking on the slider switches. Right now I've turned off Twitter and Last FM integration. I'm going to turn those back on. And now those are available to um, the site. Let's go ahead and just take a look at the back end of one of the uh, one or two of the social networks. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the YouTube back end and get an idea of how this works for the administrator. Each individual social network will have its own page of settings that can be changed. This is the YouTube setting page. Right now, again, we have the options to show the YouTube album on the user profile page. If you don't want to have those albums, you can click that off. You can also choose to hide the YouTube videos from the activity stream. If you do that, they'll only be available by selecting the YouTube filter. And you can also limit the amount of videos that you would like imported per user per day. I'm going to show you very quickly here one more integration. This is the RSS feed integration. The RSS feed integration is uh, typical of the other integrations. I have the ability to hide these on or off. And it, on or off, I should say, the activity stream. You can also choose to have a maximum amount of RSS feed items imported per day. This also has a filter. And the filter is a fantastic way to further exclude or include information from RSS feeds. This is also available for the Twitter, the LinkedIn, and the Facebook integrations where you can have it filter out any type of words that you would not like to have. So in the case that you have, um, you would like to keep out certain words from being imported, you could punch those into the explicit word filter. You can also do the opposite, which is also very useful, especially with Twitter. If you would like to only pull in tweets or posts or RSS items with particular topics, you would put, simply type in a word in this line. And when the RSS feed is pulled in, if it does not contain that word, it will not be pulled into the BuddyPress site. There are also uh, uh, very cool statistics that show up for each of the module items as well. You can take a look at how they're being used, how many things are being imported, and so forth. In addition to the premium version allowing you to have more social networks available for use in the BuddyPress site or the BuddyStream plugin of the BuddyPress site, I should say, you have the ability to have the cron job automated off of your server site. If you don't have the premium version, you'll have to make sure that your particular server has the ability to pull cron jobs. If you do have the premium version, or if you would like to use the cron job for an additional fee off-site, that's available through the BuddyStream.net site. Premium users will be given a license key that you simply enter here, and every 10 minutes, your site will be, will be pulled to update all of the social networks and integrate them into your WordPress BuddyPress site. If you have your ability to do your own cron jobs, you can simply pull the uh, cron job directly 
from the buddy stream back end and you can choose however often you would like that to be imported this is an option that's available only to premium subscribers and that option is to use the buddy streams cron service well, that's it in a nutshell. I hope that you've enjoyed this very quick overview of BuddyStream. Again, you can find out more information at BuddyStream.net. You can also sign up for the BuddyStream premium version there as well. Also, the BuddyStream Lite version can be pulled off of the WordPress or BuddyPress.org plugin repository. Again, I'm Dr. Joseph Pisano.